with all the car shit that we had going on. Because me and the squad, we go to car meets and stuff like that. Like, here, check it out. Patterson Car Care. And that was when we went to Import Alliance. We got this. We met uh, David Patterson. That dude in blue, if you don't know, on YouTube. And we hit him up. We got his number. We're like, hey, let's make some YouTube videos. And we made two YouTube videos on the channel. The G-Wagon with Sham and the Rolls Royce Wraith with Sham. We reviewed both of Sham's cars at the time. Sham had more cars, but they were all like, you know, S-Class and shit like that. So nothing, you know, special. <coughs> Those are the two cars that had anything actually worth reviewing in them, you know. And that leads more into the photography stuff, which, you know, a lot of the car stuff that we did was car photography stuff. Like when I did Chipper ATL Mob, you know, these are things that I kept. These are two American flag things, and people would just drift, and the passenger would just have this out the window. And one of these is from White Slow 4.0, a.k.a. Chris, a.k.a. the first guy to ever do donuts or burnouts in um, at an ATL Mob meet. Legendary, iconic. Um, I don't remember which one is which. It's hard to tell them apart. But one of these is from that. And that's fucking iconic. I'm glad I have that. I'm probably not ever going to use it again. I'm probably going to throw it away. But yeah, I was doing a lot of photography for that. I don't remember what this was from. This was... All these like little wristband things that I kept were all from like memories. I don't remember what that was from. I don't remember what this was from either. But it was from something. Um, it might have just been from fucking Sky Zone or something. I don't know. I don't think I would have kept it. Yeah, this was from... Look. Center Stage. It's, you need custom merch, whatever. Yeah, look. Center Stage. See? So I don't remember what show that was from. We did a few shows. But I don't remember. It couldn't have been the schooly one, because I have the one from right there. That that was a center stage one. It couldn't have been Vic Mensa because we didn't get wristbands. It couldn't have been. This might have been. No, it wasn't Post Malone or Rich Chega at the time. It was still called Rich Chega, or Smoke Perp because. We I didn't get wristbands. I just went in because I knew a guy. Um, and that he'd let us in backstage, but. Uh... Damn, I don't know. I don't know where this was from. But center stage, yeah. Um, this was from... Oh, wait, wait. Let me show this. This was the cassette. In my car, I would mentioned I had a cassette player. And that was like the main way to play music out of that car. So I had a cassette that would go in there. To Ox. See that? And we burned through these because like... These are like really cheap quality and after like a year or so they stop working or, or they like get really bad and, and have a lot of audio artifacting going on. So, and you know, as you would accelerate, it would make a high pitch noise, like a fucking supercharger. But yeah, this was that. Um, and then there was this. Crush Atlanta. The Hoodrich Pablo Juan and Young Nudie concert that I talked about in the concert saga and the photography stories. This was the media pass that we got while we were there. See the heart? That's the Crush Atlanta logo. Lanyard on here. This is a much better lanyard. But I ain't gonna use it. Wait. It's pretty fucking good. I might use it. I might, I'll see. If I don't, if I accidentally don't throw it away and I notice it before I throw it away, I'll use it. <clears throat> Let me put these all. Okay. And there was this that I just pulled off that thing, um, Audi 
See that? It's a little wristband we got for free at a uh, Cafe and Octane, which is the Cars and Coffee of Atlanta. It's at Perimeter Mall, first Sunday of every month. We went there one time. I don't remember when exactly this time was. We went there. Um, we went to the Audi stand. We went to like the Dunkin' Donuts stand, got free donuts and all that stuff. Um, and then they gave us this little wristband, and it's held up pretty well. That's why I still have it here, so I could wear it occasionally. So yeah, I just saw that when I was putting those glasses there. Um, I mentioned in the story of Sham, this bolt right here. You could see it was from the train tracks. One of the first shoots we ever did, like me and FaZe by ourselves, you know, with nobody, no fucking clients where we're just taking pictures of each other i didn't get many pictures of me because i like the candid stuff i like for you know me to just be hanging out and for people to just be taking pictures of me as i'm doing the stuff i'm doing i don't like to pose for it sometimes you know sometimes i like to pose for it you know sometimes you know if i'm like with my homies or whatever and we got some crazy fits on or whatever we're in some nice cars or whatever then fuck it might as well but yeah there was that there was this wristband which Import Alliance. I don't know which one this was from because we went multiple times. Um, and each time we fucked up in our parking and walking and all that stuff. And this is Global Tires Plus Helen Import Day 2018 Platinum Level Sponsor. I don't remember sponsoring import, uh, uh, Helen Import Day. But yeah. 2018. Import, Helen Import Day is what? In October or something? Or September? I don't remember. I don't remember. I haven't checked on Instagram in a long time. But yeah, that was that. These were the wristbands from the Schoolie concert. This was, by the way, Schoolie's first ever concert. Ever. We went to it in Atlanta. Two chains showed up and performed. He didn't even need to do that. It was a ten dollar fucking concert, and we got to see two chains for that. That was pretty fun. These lit up. Oh, see that? They light up. In the concert, when he, they they threw these out to everyone, they're like, "Hey, everyone, take one." We put them around our wrists. It was pretty fucking cool. Um, and he gave like a speech and all shit. He's like, man, I came from nothing. Now I'm, you know, uh, fucking driving my Maserati truck and all this shit. And everyone's like, yeah, way to fucking do it. And he hasn't really done much since then. Um, he's got a song with Doug, I believe. I know he does. I know. I, I've heard that song quite a few times. I know that song, but damn, what, what's, what's he been up to? I wonder. <clears throat> there was um I don't know what this is from see I kept a lot of these things and at the time I knew what they were and they had some sentimental value right but I can't remember now W Hotels the Le Meridian, Le Meridian both of these I believe um ah yes the Phipps Plaza Code of Conduct. You know, because we were going around Phipps Plaza, like just recording and shit and taking pictures and trying to get cool pictures for Sham and things like that, right? For his Instagram. <coughs> and they would tell us like, hey, no photography, no photography. You can't use the camera. And we'd be like, okay. And then we'd keep walking. And when they're out of sight, we go, okay, let's be slick about it. And another person would come up to us. And they'd tell each other on the fucking walkie-talkies, like, hey, these guys are taking pictures. Fucking stop them. And one dude came up to us, and he's like, he handed me this. He's like, here, code of conduct. Fucking read over this shit. And you can't do this shit in here. You get out of here. And I kept it as like a little memory. It's like a little memory of that fucking fateful day, you know? Tenacity. 
it, it, this is like a crowning achievement right here. You don't get these unless you're doing something wrong. You don't get these unless you're pushing the limits, you know? And other people are not going to get pictures the way you are because they're not pushing the limits. So, and I'm sure other photographers will have the same sort of thing where they'll get like tickets for fucking citations for like trespassing, whatever, and they'll hang that up on their wall as like a, you know, as like a prized possession or whatever. But yeah, that was that.